Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Warped Season 2, Episode number 28. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be an 8, and that says 27 on the stream. I am so good at that. I am pro at forgetting the episode numbers. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We will be using mature language, so prepare yourselves however you want to do that. Um, I have a quick question in the chat from Lieutenant Meme Strong. Great name. I love that. Uh, hey, Wack, I'm a new viewer and most likely going to be a new follower that just started watching your 7th Eon videos. I'm incredibly curious on how you make your maps and whatnot. Um, you literally found me four minutes ago. Uh, so we're doing a show right now. Normally I don't like to ask questions, but since this is answer questions uh, during the show, but since this is the start, I figure I'd just get this out of the way. It's uh, just Photoshop. Um, I work with Photoshop. I've done streams where I do the whole cartography thing, if you want to check that out. Um, they're probably still in my video backlog there if you want to check out the VODs um, on how I do that. But yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Um, you can see we've got uh, a, a few people missing today, but the stream must go on. We will continue onwards. Uh, we're missing Peachy and Simply. Simply might join us later, um, but for right now, we'll just have this uh, trash can table uh, represent uh, her character, 7H1CC. I think that's pretty accurate. Um, <laughs> so welcome to the stream, everybody. Let's uh, let's go around the room. Let's introduce everybody and uh, your characters, and let's get this started. Uh, any announcements you may have as well? Bobby, why don't you start us off, my friend? Sounds good. What's up, everybody? I'm Iron Chip Bobby Flail here on Twitch. I play Vok2 here on Warped. Um, I've been pretty away pretty afk i suppose you could say from twitch for the past week or two i've been really busy getting my house ready i'm uh, moving to toronto in a week or so Hooray. so uh, things are happening so i've just been busy i might be able to get a stream in tomorrow morning hopefully of god of war maybe but uh yeah i don't know i'm really excited to play today some fun stuff coming up and yeah let's go let's awesome. do it uh fuzzy why, hello there. I didn't just bolt my curry really quickly just before uh, I started talking. Bolt Hi, your how are curry. You? Hmm? Bolt your curry? What does that yeah, mean? to eat bolting, eat fast. Bolting your also food. Also to <laughs> run fast or yeah. to flee. Hmm. Or if you're telling someone to go away, you may tell them to bolt. In Scotland, in Glasgow in particular, you'll say, bolt your rocket. See, I know the reference to fast for Bolt, but it's still sound. I've never Bolt, heard it a... used that way. It came before Usain Bolt. Bolt. It did, it did. He was probably named, named after the Scottish phrase. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, to Bolt is also to just like, oh no, my dog bolted. Now it's worrying the sheep over mm -hmm. there. <laughs> Fair enough. Fenton! Fenton! <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I love that. Jesus anyway, Christ. yeah. Some say he's running to this very day. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Fuzzy. I, I, I play. I play. I play. I play Betty. Um, possibly. Find out. Stay tuned. Yeah. Talking of staying tuned. Let's just leave the camera on fuzzy for a minute because that was a horrible transition. <laughs> Zagoticus. Hey, I'm Zagoticus. Uh, I play uh, Ilya Muromets. <sighs> Who's had an interesting experience on this mission? I don't know if he would have went on it if he knew what he was getting into. <laughs> I.e. getting married to a Spartan and <laughs> a wild, yeah, had a wild dying. ride. Yeah. The whole shebang. Who would um, That's his exact fetish. But, I mean, it all worked out in the end. So, yeah. As for me, I'll be continuing Assassin's Creed next week. And, uh, yeah, more roleplay here for 7th Eon tomorrow and on Monday, Nameless Ones on Brad Waddle's channel. I mean, both of those also role playing. So, excellent. Good name. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm Wax Steven. I am the GM of Doom. I will be dragging these guys kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Uh, if this is your first time joining us for this show, uh, it is a strange and wild ride for sure. We uh, we tend to get a bit silly, and uh, there. Um, 
the characters are very uh special special Unique, yes different, special unusual yes traumatizing I think special in all <laughs> all meanings of the word yes yep yeah um good umbrella they're um the group has been on this adventure now for 28 episodes they have essentially been on a colony ship known as the arcadia where um about 10,000 people flee for their lives from um, our uh, area of space, uh, and it was a necessity. They were keeping an eye on this strange phenomena, this certain kind of odd, I guess you could call it a uh, dimensional plague of some sort that's called the Nothing that was creeping into Sol space and causing um, entire worlds and stuff to sort of collapse. Essentially, the Earth got wiped out from existence. And they took it upon themselves to send off colony ships to try and set up research locations and possibly colonize new worlds away from the uh, system and try to investigate this phenomena further and possibly come up with a solution to dealing with it. Um, alas, when the Arcadia traveled through the uh, Tachyon Gate, they hit a bit of a snag. Essentially, they were sent off course into another universe 70,000 light years away from where they were. And in the process, they've had to try to make some alliances, um, and they've met new enemies um, that have thrown a wrench into everything. In the last series of episodes, the group met with a race known as the Pyrilp, who have a very strange economy and system of government. Just their lifestyle in general is odd because it's based around a thing called the spectacle, a, an interactive experience, sort of an artificial virtual reality where the entire uh, civilization is a part of it. And they produce their own content and star in these strange and weird programs where they earn credits for participating and turn those back over. It's a whole strange economy that they've got worked out. Their higher-ups in their society are producers and directors, um, highly coveted positions that uh, have them sort of dressed up in fancy clothing and jewelry and whatnot, and um, they still focus primarily on entertainment. So entertaining them in almost any way is their main source of enjoyment. They, um, they'll do anything for, for some good binge watching. And the group participated in the spectacle for a while. But they ran into a problem as 7H1CC and one of the other crew members aboard the shuttle, Brain, hacked the spectacle, or at least tried to. They were detected, and the group was uh, arrested and put into holding cells. They had a kangaroo court that went on where they were found guilty, but through some clever maneuvering, the group has managed to convince the Pyrilp that um, they might actually be able to get the broadcast rights between this whole secret uh, and Arcadia, I guess you could call it a war. It's, it hasn't been formally declared, but I think that's what it is at this point. The uh, maneuvering was done with Ilya's penis. Yes, Ilya had a bit of um, an encounter... One might call it a sexual encounter with uh, one of the crew members. It was an experience. Not pictured here. Um, <laughs> and uh, he might be married now. 99.9% .9 chance of marriage. 
So, uh, when we last left off, the characters had uh, sort of finagled their way into the good graces of the producer, Zirkwon, and Betty pronounced to the group that she was looking to stay aboard uh, this spectacle and become a, I guess, lifelong romance queen. I don't know what kind of strange fetish Betty has. I don't think anybody can really peg those down. Betty knows all about pegging things down. That was Betty's gonna that was a free a one. Nickname. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I feel like you need a, a, a stage name, like Betty the Bullet or something. You're small, but you have a large impact. I don't know. Small, but you vibrate furiously. And no, wait. Yeah. Um, <laughs> get lost down the side of the sofa. Um. So. Betty, Betty the Behemoth. Betty, uh, Betty has anyway. posed this thought to the group, and Ilya seemed a little upset. And uh, I don't know what what's what's going on now. All right. Uh, let me have think with you. Right, what do you think? Because I'm not going. Well, there is paperwork I have to do. Um, we need good reason. Elia, are you yes. a ventriloquist? Yes, I'm ventriloquist. I've oh, been right. practicing. Okay. Just in case we got stuck here, I thought it right. would be a great idea. Alright, then. Just checking. Damn you, webcam. Why are you going to do this to me? I can talk control. Uh, it's, it's a good frozen image for, for yeah. Betty's general. <laughs> yeah. It didn't just, yeah. just work for the entire It's a good My get out of Betty dirty. free response. Yeah. But let's be honest, nobody gets out of Betty for free. Intro <laughs> <laughs> for free. Um, right, come on, come on. Betty's all about those freebies. Yeah. Okay, I need reason to discharge you. How Have you discharge? did any of the following? Have you disobeyed orders? Yes. Have you participated in any activity that would be considered unbecoming of a member of the military? Yes. Have you... Uh... Okay. Two is good enough. I will also have them seize my data pad as evidence. Right. Oh, oh, give me your data pad. We can, we can, give me No, we don't pad. need no, more no, evidence, no, Betty. No, no, it's it's Betty, good. I have oh, enough. It's Betty. Fine. Look, look at these. Betty. Look at these bad boys. Oh, dear. Betty, my last look, order look as your devil. senior officer is to never show me your naked body ever again. <laughs> you want to look at her naked body? Why not mine? Let's not talk about that either. Right. Oh, did you think, Roy, just out of curiosity, do you think mm. that, you know, banging her in public was, was, was becoming of an officer? Just just ask him. Just, you know. Betty, I'm discharging you from your duties Whoa! on the grounds of load conduct, load conduct towards an officer. Ichar kind conduct, of walks up. Unbecoming of... Ichar walks up and she says... <laughs> Gross incompetence. Gross incompetence, yes, most oh, definitely. Oh, incompetent. Failure to oh, very follow competent. direct orders. I wasn't talking about you. Oh, oh, right. I get you. I get you. Her oh, arms oh, are oh, crossed oh, and she's staring at Ilya. I'm, I'm just going to sort of pass her a little leaflet and, and something in the bag and be like, this will come in handy for you, just saying, you know. Yes, uh... I will do paperwork when I get back to Arcadia, but Betty, effective all immediately, you are free to do as you wish. Woo! Whoa! He just like, what? You're, you're not going to kill her? Why would they kill me? You've committed I can multiple think of many reasons. Dishonorable acts. 
Right. Yes, anyway, but... Anyway, see you later, shit lords, we're now. <laughs> that is just like... <laughs> I think this is good place for Betty. Perhaps far better place than Arcadia could ever be for her. I Wayne steps up and says... Wayne, Wayne steps up and says, Maybe on the trip back, I won't have quite so many random pairs of underwear stuffed under my sheets. You know, mm. Betty's. You know, you know, Betty's just like hitting a whole bunch of weird shit under, under mm. various panels, and you know, people are going to be like, "What the hell is this?" Less wet, wet sounds, less buzzing, less of that odd smell, less complaints from almost every male member of the Arcadia. I might get commendation for this. Everyone just kind of like looks off like in that ponderous stare, that kind of general appreciation and just quietly nods their head. Like yeah, my stomach's growling as well. <laughs> like it's an audible growl. It's it sounds as like it's as if I'm a beer. It's just way too deep and grumbly. But uh, yeah, I'm just looking off in the distance from my stomach. Yeah, I guess so Betty kind of walks off uh one of the PAs kind of like uh, starts talking to you, Betty, uh, and they just say, If I was to understand correctly, you are interested in rejoining the spectacle? Roy, yes, absolutely. Very well. Enjoy. I will take you to the nearest terminal where you can interact. Awesome. They kind of, like, lean towards you, um, and they have this very strange kind of uh, articulation to their body, their bones set up must be quite a bit different uh, than the way that ours are set up. I don't even know how the shoulder blades would work, um, but uh, you know they sort of turn their their torso, I guess, towards you, and they they say, uh, "I have to admit, I was quite a fan of your work." Oh, really? Yes, I tried to watch several of your escapades. I am curious, can you please explain how exactly your species copulates? Well, I can show you if you're like. I'm sorry, I'm not interested in that kind of thing with you. Oh, right, all right. Well, you, you did ask. All right, well, we got some helpful I am just curious here. on exactly how it works. Right, I've got some helpful diagrams. Don't worry. Here you go. Right, see, Betty's now what like, happens is... <laughs> she, like, <laughs> unfolds them up. <laughs> right, and if you observe this center fold here... <laughs> and you guys kind of, like, walk through this door that parts and closes. And we say goodbye to Betty. Bye, Betty. We won't miss your voice. So, <sighs> Betty is off. And I think that means it's time to make a new character for... Miss Fuzzy Freaks. Um, goodbye, Betty. We knew I way too much about you. No one will ever forget Betty. <laughs> so, what is the new goal with this new character? What are you looking to make? Um, something with psi powers because it 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 it, 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 it seemed quite effective when Zakoticus had had a character that could like melt people with his brain, and I'm like, yeah, that seems like a good time. Okay, so we're uh, everybody's at grade seven, yes. Um, yes. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna yes. start at grade seven. Uh, awesome. I need to give you a new character sheet. Right. Uh, let me just get into roll twenty. I was definitely logged in. Definitely logged in. I think it will be easy to tell which character sheet is yours. Mm -mm -mm. I see it there. Okay, so you're doing a psi <laughs> character. Yes. Um, what kind of a psi character are you looking to make? Um, Are you trying to make a specific kind of character? Like, what is your goal uh, with the character? I, I did. I did have, like, some ideas and write them down. Unfortunately, I can't actually find the page in my notebook that I wrote them down on because... Um... By the way, if you're curious on how to make a character in NEW, 
If you want all this new RPG, you can head on over to the Warped Official YouTube channel, where I've just recently posted a tutorial on how to create a character. I should have watched it. Hashtag <coughs> ad. <laughs> I watched it. It was very good, Wax Demon. Why, thank you, Zakaticus. That's very kind of you. Where was it again? Just in case I love you're an absolute That's the way. That's the way that Will Wheaton talks when he does the Ready Player One uh, <laughs> yeah, narration. Um, <laughs> I've been, I've, yeah, I'm not sure about species because we've got all the new shits, the new yeah. hobbits. Um, yeah. So I think for uh, for this stuff, we're gonna do the uh, bum, 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 bum. the stuff under the universal upgrades. Those races. Do you do you have uh, the link to that? Because I do not have the link to that. Uh, I believe it's pinned in... in our channel. It's, yes, oh, it should be, it should be okay. pinned, yeah. Uh, okay. It's the one yeah. that says uh, uh, Universal Upgrades. Yeah, and the 1.2 one as well you can use. Yeah, you should be using the 1.2 uh, book. I should be. Um, Who uses it. books when they role play? Who does that? You just ask the DM. <laughs> Way to make their life. Hell. Uh, okay. Whack Ooh. is organized, Fuzzy. I know this is alien to you. You can shut the hell out, Bob, as well. <laughs> okay, so uh, again, I think you should think about your end goal first. Uh, that's mm. kind of the way that you should probably get started. Um, mm. And. Uh, Think about like. Um, by the way, I'm sorry. There's some like weird construction going on in the building. I can't uh, hear it. I can't hear it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. I can't hear it good, because okay. it's super yeah. fucking loud for me. Um, right. The one day I take see. off my oh, fucking look. headphones. Warp looks look. great. Uh, yada yada plant. Nah. <laughs> what? I'm just laughing at myself. So you want to you want psi powers? Do you want to yeah. be like a healer? Do you want to use it like like uh, like a battle psych? Do you want to be like a um, a damage dealer psychic? Do you want to be a healer? Do you want to be um, like a sort of social um, interaction people. psychic? Yeah, yeah. telepathy, like mind reading. Mind reading is always a good time. Let, let's face it. Um... There's a whole psionic section. So there's bio psionics, there's, uh, which will sort of give you like enhancements to your physical abilities. Um, there's uh, clairsentience, um, which has different like uh, abilities to, to communicate uh, psionically. There's clairvoyance, which has kind of like the divination kind of thing going on. Uh, ergokinesis, so there's it's kind of almost like a mage psionic person, right? Um, I, I, I'm thinking the second one sounds good. Clairsentience. Uh, yeah, the the the, the head. Right, where is that on the pit? Because I'm, uh, I'm 66. sort of like six on, or, on the yeah sixty sixty six uh, is the actual page number in the PDF. Okay, is that in the universal upgrades or no no that's uh, the full okay. the normal book. Right. Okay. Hang on, let me find full book digital one point two. Okay, here we go. Um, let's make this bigger and over here. Right. Um, yada yada. Okay. Um, so I think um, deciding on your your end goal with the character is kind of like the most important step uh, when you're making your character because mm -hmm. uh, it'll help. It'll make like the whole process easier because uh, you you know like what you want your end goal to be and you have your idea. It'll help you kind of work out your backstory and everything. So yeah, the the Claire sentience is gonna give you. You've got options like uh, hypercognition. Uh, oh, actually no, telepathy. Telepathy seems okay. Yeah. Uh, mind control, mind probe, mind read, mind wipe. Hell okay. Yeah. So you want to be this kind of creepy, uh, 
mind reading. Say that. What? No, I, I was just like, you know, you just be like, yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Just really annoying. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, fair enough. So those okay, are a list of different. Yes, nice. Those are a list of different psionics that you can get. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason that I wanted you to see that is if you see the different options you have, and you don't only have to take telepathy, you can take other stuff. Um, mm. I just wanted you to kind of have an idea of where you wanted to head with the character. Um, Ooh, blink as well. Right. Um, okay, let me have a... Yeah, that requires... You need to have high psi and high agi. Yeah. And dimensional step. Hmm. So there's a few steps before you can use blink. But that's a super cool thing. I'd love to see, like, a teleporting uh, ninja kind of character. That'd be fucking sick. Um... Ooh. But, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, that being said, uh, you kind of have a general idea of, like, the path that you want to go down, um, which is a good place to get started. I think the next thing you're going to have to do is decide on uh, your species. Yeah. Um... So, the standard choices, um, the thing, I don't know if you want to go, like, very stat-heavy, like, if you want to go into the class that gives you the most benefits like if you want to min max or if you just want to pick if you have like a certain idea that you wanted to use um well i'm just looking at the new species at the moment uh, i was looking at pajak but then i realized they, they they talk with like zeds and things and i'm just like no no <laughs> the pijaks yeah yeah pijaks are kind of like uh insectoid like creatures mm. But yeah, they, they they kind of talk with a lot of zzz, or the, but, and, yeah. You were right, projects. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I um, think so. I've I've had enough of, of of you know strange accents for the time being. Yeah. Or at least un uncomfortable ones that aren't natural for you. Yeah. Um... Ooh. Phoenicians are good, man. Ooh. Ooh. Jamilia or J J J Jamila, Jamila. Jamaricon? Uh, no, yeah, uh, Jamila are the perfect idealized humanoid form and are shockingly beautiful to other humanoid races. Uh, not known for their skills and technology or the strength of body. Yeah, they basically they they they're like um, <gasps> the ones in Star Trek. Uh, thingy slave girls. Orion slave girls. Yeah, Orion slave. Yeah. Excrete pheromones and shit. Are these under the variant humans? Uh, yeah, no, the, this is the this is the uh, four new alien races bit, which is page seventeen. Well, they're on page eighteen, bottom of page eighteen. Oh, 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 yes, yes, okay. Uh, skills and technology, yada yada. So. So if you went uh, that route. In you... conjunction with their ability to drain a victim's life force to he heal themselves, persuading a victim to willingly allow the process. This so is they're, actually part of the Jamila. <laughs> they're space. They're space vamps. Okay, that sounds. Uh... Okay, yeah, they get into charisma two, psi plus one. Yeah, that seems. Uh, that that seems like a good one, actually. That that seems like a a good, fucking with people one. Okay. All right. Especially, it's like, oh yes, I'd love to go on a ship where nobody knows what I can do. That would be lovely. So they say uh, they have a sort of idealized humanoid form. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, androgynous, best diplomats, manipulators, con artists, uh, pheromones. I don't think that there's any real. Uh, descriptions of really what they look like beyond they are very attractive um, hmm. do you have a sort of picture in your head for what your character might look like maybe that's something you want to think about as we're going on here just sort of a very sort of like you know humanoid completely hairless humanoid with like you know just like no no ears just little sort of like ear holes and, and kind of like large almond shaped black eyes Kind of like a really sexy gray. A sexy gray eye? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know, like the gray. You know, like the gray aliens, the little big heads. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Basically like that, but human shaped and, and a lot sexier without okay. the big head and things. Yeah. All I'm seeing is Paul with tits. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, look at my tits. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, human shaped. But whoa! What whoa. The... <laughs> Damn, Zagoticus. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. That's definitely not the picture that I had in my head for your character, but okay. No. Sounds well, good. Well, it's your picture character. What did you have? Well, when somebody says idealized humanoid form, I'm not really thinking about Paul. <laughs> Neither was I, but, you know, no, <laughs> it's just, you know, sort of like almond-shaped black eyes and, 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 and just like, you know, sort of like very pale, slightly grayish skin, but just with, with, with a kind of like, you know, iridescent sheen to it. What were the dark elves from uh, uh, Elder Scrolls? Drow? Bosmer. Oh, oh no! no. Which, do you mean is it the Bosmer? No, the Bosmer are the wood elves. No, those are the um, wood elves. The do we, the Dreamer? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. The, that's the dwarves. No, uh, the dwarves. no, it's not Kaima. Dunmer. Dunmer. Eh, sort of, but they've got generally reddish eyes. Or, or the the Falmer, which are the underground ones, who are like. Bleh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess I guess if you go kind of that route, but hairless and without the ears and just kind of all black instead of the red, I, I'm kind no, of no, getting no. it. Just dusky gray. Dusky gray eyes or yeah. skin? No, black. Right. Very very pale sort of gray skin with an iridescent sheen, and then just black eyes, just all black. Okay. Can we retcon and just see Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good starting point. <laughs> Does it have a nose? <laughs> Okay. Would you? If it doesn't have a nose. It'd be sexy Voldemort instead. I'm a sexy alien. How you doing? If you type in "sexy Voldemort" in the in the Google, there's a you're gonna go down a rabbit hole. Um, I'm not searching that up. So okay. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. Um, fair enough. And, uh, so let's figure out where you want to get started. Uh, so you're going to start with a three, uh, in all your stats here. Uh, I'll get, I'll, I'll fill that in for you. Okay. Because I'm fast. Um, all right. Start with that. And then you're going with the Jamila, which is going to give you two int and two charisma and one psi plus those starting kind of like that hang on only much better draw obviously okay all right um all right it's a okay, little so like those peril people from valerian a little bit yeah yeah but, yeah. But, yeah but less hi uh, and and okay so right what did you say <laughs> so you're getting two int Mm -hmm. And then uh, two to charisma and, and one, to, one to psi. Okay. All right. And we're going to be at grade seven. So this is going to be six dice for the pool to start. Uh, and then um, we are going to take, uh, you're going to take three skill choices. So one in the social bracket. Uh, one in the subterfuge and one in artistic. Right. Um, okay. And uh, that's on oh page. Gosh. Starts on page uh, 20 through 21 of the PDF. Uh, the, the, the normal book. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's see. So. Okay, social, let's see. Um... Social has intimidate, flirtation, carousing, negotiation, bluffing, leadership, linguistics, counseling, teaching. I'm going to go with flirtation, I think. Okay. <clears throat> Betty 2.0. Here we go, guys. No. 
Betty, but better. No, it's just, yeah, no. <laughs> a more successful Betty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your dem a more demure Betty. That's a good uh, word. Okay. Wasn't she married to Ashton Kutcher? Who's that? Betty? I don't know. No, that demure person. Oh, Demi Moore? <laughs> Demi Moore? <laughs> Okay, what are we going to do? All right, so your skill is flirtation. And that's going to be based generally on charisma with one to start. And then we're going to have... Um, I'm going to make this viewable for the stream, too. I might as well show this on the stream. Um, for the subterfuge one, I'd like to take stealth. Okay. Artistic, I mean, there's a section for it. There are basically various artistic skills, painting, oh, oh, sorry, sculpting, calligraphy. Um, hmm. I'm going to go with filmmaking. I, 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 I think she's a sort of... That's cool. She's like a director. Like it's... I was gonna say, yeah, she, she, she's, she's, she's a, yeah, she's a documentary maker. She's a blogger. Well, I think that's a pretty easy tie-in to where you guys are right now. Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, so, so maybe, yeah, she, she's, she's maybe a she maker. is, maybe she is going to be doing the, uh, the documentary side of things for the group that's going, uh, to go along with you guys back to the Arcadia. One of the ones who had the rights to film. Yep. That's cool. Okay, this is this is working out well. <clears throat> right. Um... Okay, so filmmaking. And cut. Okay, and filmmaking. Hmm. Maybe intuition. I'm thinking. Okay. Logic? Logic isn't really used with filmmaking. <laughs> I would agree. Intuition. <laughs> you're like, oh, this, this yeah. will make the Maybe best perception. angle. Yeah, this or perception. Perception as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, perception's a skill as opposed to an attribute. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And intuition oh. is the skill that perception is based on. Hmm. That works. That works. So, uh, yeah. So, social, subterfuge, and artistic. What was your subterfuge? Uh, bleh, 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 um, uh, just uh, stealth, I think. Just regular because stealth. If you, yeah, okay. if, 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 if you're going to be filming people, you know, candidly, you, you want to be fading into the background. Okay. Just pretend I'm not here. Okay, so you got that, and then you get all of the exploits that are listed under the Jamila. Uh, um, so so the pheromones, pheromones and draining life force, and holy shit, those are long descriptions. <clears throat> Um, manipulate anybody within the cloud with charisma-based mental attack. Task target to do whatever the Jimmy suggests. Will stop short of harming itself or allies for up to one minute. Um, I need to be effect for one day. So basically, it's a once a day, you know. Oh no, you want to let me? It's a once a day Jedi mind trick, kind of a thing. Ah, targets will always know when a Jamila attempts to do this, and will always, almost always resent it. So I it's think like the cloud the, is always there. Why the cloud is always there, yeah. but you know the, the 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 decision to actually manipulate people using it is is you know a once a day thing, and it's just like God damn it! Did you just? So I guess five feet around your body <laughs> means technically that it's, um, like a two foot radius, two and a half foot radius around your body, or I don't know if that means five foot radius around I'd your body. I'd say five feet. Either side. In either direction. Yeah. So then technically, that's a 15-foot 
like block, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Okay. Um. Mm -mm. Draining. Copy life. pasta. By the way, uh, Etoile Lyon is uh, still working on getting the sheet up to date. Zagoticus and I got a sneak peek of it. Um, he's got a few stats that are automatically calculated for you. A lot of the um, like combat stuff is kind of automatically uh, set up for you. So it's pretty nice. Hopefully that's done reasonably soon. Etoile Lyon, if you're listening, no pressure. <laughs> None at all. All right. So you got your first exploit there. The next one is draining life forces. And you thought Betty sucked. The experience is intensely pleasurable for the victim. Space vampires. So does it say how it's actually done it just says a, a melee attack melee so. attack against a target on a successful attack they drain their victim's life force by 1d6 psychic damage and gain the same health back to themselves so um yeah the last part on it though <laughs> a victim reduced to zero health in this man does not form a death dice pool so basically if you are reduced to zero it does it i don't know if it means you don't Form the death spell because you don't like die, that. or yeah, do directly. you die instantly? I think you die instantly. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Mm. I'm not sure which which of those. Well, it if is. you're at zero health, you're 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 on the death saving thing. If 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 you don't have a death saving thing, then you're dead. I think it's left like that intentionally for uh to be up to the DM. Hmm. Um. Usually when stuff is left vague like that, in general, it's left up to the DM. Okay. Uh, draining life force. Okay, so next we got to do um, your origin career. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. We got to pick your home world. Um, we got to do your home world. So, home world. Uh, I believe that's after the species. Yes, that is on page 29 of the PDF. Um, so you can do agricultural, arctic, asteroid, barren, city, desert, jungle, ocean, volcanic. Hmm. And I think where there's some more in the universal upgrades. Let me see. Home worlds, home worlds. I thought there was more. Thought there was more. Um, Origin twenty two. I'm sure there's like another set like Morris did not give to me, uh, but that's what we're looking at for right now. Um, right. Uh, in the attribute modifiers chart on page twenty. Did Jamila get an extra plus one to luck that's not listed on page 19? Uh-oh. Did Bobby find a typo? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, because you're looking at the wrong one. That's a Zetan. That's actually oh, my no, modifiers, you're right. Jamila. Luck plus one. So that's going to give them six. Uh, judging from the other races, um, the rest of the races get a five total on their attribute scores if you add up all the numbers. Um, I'm going to say we're going to leave the luck off. Cool. I'm going to take, uh, I think that's, city. I think that's a mistake. Because if you, like I said, if you look at the other, the other three races there, if you add up their numbers, it adds to a five. Oh, actually, no. Pat, pay, pay Jack goes down to a, goes down to a two. 
It, it's based off of exploits too, and, and what? Like yeah. yeah. No, uh, Morris has shown me like a race creation thing. Ah, oh, man, uh, that's a tough one. Um, I'm alright with not taking the luck. It's okay. Well, if necessary, we can add it back. We can talk to Morris and see uh, where where we're at on that. Um, Air on side of caution, though. Um, I'd like to take city as my homeworld thing, which is homeworld. Okay, city. Yeah. One charisma. Important. Uh, one endurance. I'm sorry, that, that did a... What was the minus? Uh, uh, endurance. endurance. So plus one charisma, minus one end. Okay. Okay, endurance minus one, charisma plus one. Okay, so there, that's taking you up to two endurance and six charisma. And then we got to do the skill gives you diplomacy or bureaucracy. Uh... Diplomacy, I think. Okay, probably charisma based. Uh, gives you one there. Alrighty. And then you have to choose your origin careers. So mm -hmm. you're grade seven. So there's going to be a uh, there's going to be an origin career. Uh, technically, you take the origin career as many times as you want, um, but it it has diminishing returns. Um, and then the um, uh, six other careers. Hmm, okay. Uh, so origin careers start on page 32 of the PDF. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to look at the action careers thing because there's actor in there. Which is yes. That's uh, another... Uh, I think that's from Eons, the, um, the uh, Patreon for... Um, which we'll call Are we it right the taking that though? Actor, sure. Yeah, cool. Um hmm. There's a future careers one. I think that's just the normal stuff though. Hmm. Yeah, this was just part of the book. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's any right. other ones. Okay. Yeah, so the action careers uh, comes from the um, uh, N-O-W uh, stuff, but I don't mind you taking that for this. All right, let me just have a look at the normal careers. Okay. Uh... Hmm. I, I, I actually call it like the novice one. Okay. And uh, so this novice for your origin career. Um, mm -hmm. You were brought up in a monastic or religious order. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, that would give you some psi, which you would need, um, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to play a, a very psi-heavy character. I, th I feel like... You're almost going to want to justify getting some psi in every single career that you take because mm. it's going to be really hard to get your psi up to the point where you can do stuff. Yeah. Um, um. So definitely, uh, I would say, go the route of trying to get as much psi as you can um, mm. through every career. Uh, so that, that'll give you psi. That'll give you endurance, intelligence, or uh, intuition, and will. All right, so you're saying novice? That's your first one? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find anything that gives a sign now. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, go ahead and roll 2d6. Oops. All right. And are you just taking one uh, grade in novice to start out? Um, I will take two grades of novice because these guys live for a long time okay and so give me another d6 on that then because what happens with the second time you take an origin career you don't do the 2d6 um okay and so this will be two grades and we're gonna go 17 years as a novice 
All right. Um, okay, so let's start doing the attribute stuff. Um, so the novice is going to get you endurance, intel uh, intuition, will, and psi. So endurance, intuition, will, and psi. Um, I'm just going to do this twice since mm -hmm. it's not going to affect anything else. And psi. Okay. Um, then you're going to get... Um, those two of the skills that are listed there. So religion, artistic, crafting, linguistics, martial arts, concentration, or meditation. Hmm. Um, artistic could be, you know, filmmaking. Up to you. If you want to take another, another grade in that. Uh, yeah, why not? You've got to be pretty good in order to, you know, get get to go on and, you know, okay. document an alien species. Second um, grade in filmmaking. Okay. Now, technically, you're going to get four total here because you're taking this twice. Isn't it three? Don't you take three of the first skill? Nope. That's origin? just the race. Oh, uh, it's just race. Okay. Um... Believe me, Bobby. I just did a I character you... creation tutorial over on the official warp channel on YouTube. <laughs> I know what happens. I've read it about 10,000 times. <laughs> uh, I've done the right. normal Zagonicus read-through of a, of a okay, system. Okay, so we've taken two things in that. Right, well, how many more do we have? Um, it, linguistics would probably be a good one as well, right? Okay. And what, what were the options again? Because I've got one more to go, right? You took Linguini Grade 1. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so religion, artistic, crafting, linguistics, martial arts, concentration, meditation. Concentration. Okay, so linguistics is logic. Concentration. The opposite of Betty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's definitely willpower. Uh, also, just a side note, concentration is going to give you mental defense when we're working out your uh, derived statistics. Nice. So that's three skills so far. You have one more. Consideration, you can also substitute any of these for a defensive skill if you want to pick something to help you out with melee or range defense, something like uh, acrobatics or dodging. I'll take, yeah, I'll take acrobatics, actually. That's a good idea. Okay. Hmm. Okie doke. All right, so that's your fourth skill for that. Uh, and again, we're doing that because we took two uh, grades of novice. Now, there's only one exploit here, so you're going to have to take a universal exploit as your other one. But you get uh, confidant. Uh, being brought up in a monastery is giving you a certain perception. You can discern a lie through a mix of intuition and experience. You gain a plus 1d6 bonus to discern lies and deception. Hmm. Cool. Um, I'm trying to work out what careers give me more psi as well. Um. Well, there's things like straight up battle psych. Yeah. There's a stuff. list that they start of the careers part. It has it says psionic careers, and you can see all the ones that have psionic stuff. Mm. Yes. I'm just... I'm sure I'm on the right thing to actually. The line oh. breaks bother me so much when I do copy pasta. <laughs> it's like straight up crazy Wax Steven OCD. Boo Boo doesn't like it either. <laughs> she totally is not hungry and wants food early or anything. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, Zagonicus. You were talking about the... Which page is that on? Uh, page... 31 of the PDF. 30. Yeah, so Battle Psych, Bio Psychic, Psy Cop, Psychic, Star Knight, uh, Venetian Retreat. It's not helpful for you. Um, psychic might be a good one. 
Yeah, yeah psychic. Um, Page uh, 47. So that would give you Psy, obviously. Uh, then there's an actual psionic skill choice. Negotiation, bluffing, hypnotism, concentration, meditation. Okay, right. Um, uh, yeah, psychic looks good because then I got... Um, okay. Just give me a 1d6 on that. Let's just do your grade while you're here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look at all these sixes. <laughs> you're going to be old as shit. <laughs> well, you know, the, the, my, my race is quite long-lived, I think, so. Well, you get a, you're get a little bit older than humans, basically. I think mm. old age starts around 75, and adult starts at 25 for Jam Jamila. She's had some work done. It's fine. Yes, Finnan. The garbage can table perfectly represents 7H1CC. It is her ideal in life. <laughs> um, right, so that's psychic is int plus one, luck plus one, rep plus, uh, rep plus one, and psi plus one. Okay. What were the, uh, the attributes again? Uh, int plus one. Luck yep. plus one. Luck plus one. Mm -hmm. Rep plus one. And, and Psy. Psy plus one, yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, and then you got to pick your skills. Also, Two you skills. can decide if you want to take this career multiple times. It's really, it's up to you. How many... How many uh, so you did two so far for your origin, and then you need five more. Jesus. Okay, Um. yeah, I'll probably take... Honestly, I'll probably take this three times, and then I'll take the film thing a couple of okay, times Okay, so well. give me two more D6. Okay. Uh, hang on. Uh, Four, okay. So we got to do the attributes twice, so or three times. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Int luck, rep, and psi. Int luck, rep, and psi. One. Luck. Okay, so that puts us at ten int already. Just an FYI, we're five five grades down so far. Um, then you got to pick uh, six skills, um, and you can repeat any one technically up to uh, three times. Mm. Right. Uh, hypnotism. Okay. Um, concentration. Hypnotism. You said you want concentration? Yeah. Um, hypnotism. It's probably going to be charisma. Mm. Concentration, okay. Um, what's what would psionic be with that? There's a How category of psionic skills because mm. uh, you can do things with your actual psionics: biopsionics, clairsentience, clairvoyance, ergokinesis, metaphysics, telekinesis, telepathy, teleportation. They're also uh. partially required for some of your um, your psionic abilities. Right. Um. <laughs> So technically, if you wanted to take this skill three times, um, you could, and you don't have to take the same one. You could take, you know, three different ones. Right. Um, yeah, okay. So you said you wanted to do telepathy. Mm -hmm. It's yes. probably a good time to get that. Uh, yep, okay. So telepathy, yes. Where is telepathy on the thing? Because I'm... Where is telepathy in the skill list? Uh, yeah, so I've got like three different things open and, and... What are you trying to find right now? Well, I just want to know how it worked, etc., etc. Oh, so this is the skill that will allow you to sort of use the psi power. Mm. Um, okay, right. 
so the actual telepathy like quote unquote spells that you can use that's psionics all that stuff is on page seven, uh, 69 of the PDF the, the, this PDF that we're looking at now the Just book, the, the, the actual book. full right. book okay. PDF yeah Can I just so um huh. I might take um hmm. Ooh, telekinesis seems like a good one as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's definitely pretty useful. Okay, so you wanna take one grade of telekinesis. Let's take two grades of telepathy. Okay. All right. So that is four skills that you, uh, five skills that you've taken so far. Right. You did concentration, hypnotism, two telepathy, and one telekinesis. Right. So, uno mas. One more. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna stick another one in. I'm gonna stick another one in telepathy then. Okay. So three points and three grades in telepathy. Yes. Very nice. It's very nice. Maybe. Okay. And let's see. Careers. Let's go back to psychic. All right. So your skills are all done. Uh, then you've got a list of exploits there that you can pick from. Since you're three grades in psychic, it's going to be three of the exploits. And again, if you want to, you can substitute any of these exploits for a universal exploit. Right. Um, so three of these, yeah? Yep. Right, so empathy. Okay. Um, you can automatically sense strong emotions in others within 30 feet. I sense great anger. Um, great pain. Um, precog, because that's super uh, useful. Natural precognition gives you a plus 1d6 bonus to initiative checks, as well as checks to access the ambush turn. Hmm. Interesting. You'll totally be right on top of that exploit, keeping it in mind at all times when we're playing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, <clears throat> uh, There's no sarcasm there at all. Uh... Ghostly advice, I think, as well. Isn't that the one that Simon has? Uh, yes. He's just got a different version, right? Like he's got his, the he's racial got version. The <laughs> one. I got the racial version. Yeah, mm. but it's basically the same thing. Yeah. So once per day, you may receive advice from ghosts. Really lingering consciousness artifacts will give you a two d six plus two d six die bonus to the next attribute check you make within one minute. Okie doke. So that's uh, one, two, and three. All right. And then you've got uh, two more careers. Right. Um, you thought you were thinking take... about actor. Yes, I am. I'm going to take uh, two more in actor. Actor. Okay. So you want to roll 2d6? So let's see where actor takes you. Uh -oh. Careers. Okay. So the yeah, actor will get you logic, int, charisma, and rep. Mm -hmm. Actor you gives you logic? That's weird. I feel like it's the least logical job <laughs> Lines and shit. You've got to be fairly disciplined to be an actor. Come on now. 
Was that Unless int? You're Large hmm? int? Was that it? Logic, int, charisma, and rep. Okay. Uh, I've just rolled two threes for my, uh, for my thingy. Okay. Uh, all right, so that gives you another six. Putting you at 33 years old. And, uh, yeah, so you're technically, you're an adult, uh, Jamila. All right. She's in her prime. Um, right. Before everything begins to sag and droop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> right. Okay, skill, how many skills do I get? Is it... Uh, so you get two for each grade that you take. Okay, right. Uh, in that case, I'm going to take uh, two lots of flirtation. Okay, two grades of flirtation? Yes. Okay, so the way that this works, just so you understand the mechanics here, um, the reason that you can do that is because you're taking two grades. You wouldn't be able to do that as, like, two of the same skill. Mm, yes. Um, okay. Right. So that puts you up to a three in flirtation. And then acting and disguise. Okay. Okay, so one in each of those. All right, and then you get two exploits. Right, interesting. Box office star requires B-movie. Hmm. <laughs> B-movie? <Yeah. laughs> oh, God. Um... You were in a classic B-movie. You gain rep plus one and begin play with an extra $500. You also learn one new skill of your choice at rank one. Name your movie. Oh, my God. Right. I'm going to take... Uh... I'm going to take catchphrase. <laughs> okay. You are associated with a catchphrase. Once per day, you can use your catchphrase and gain 1d6 on any roll. Write down your catchphrase. Which I'm gonna have to think of something routine and terrible. Um, and I think stage fright as well. You learn to overcome your nerves on the stage. Once per day, you may ignore a fear based attack, uh, effect, whatever. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, stage fright. Oh, you're taking actor twice. Mm -hmm. Yep. So in the in the the text up above, uh, says each time you take this career, roll a d6. If you I roll... did, I didn't get a six. Oh, you um, didn't get a sixes? Yeah, no, no, I got two threes. Oh. No awards for me. No, that's a separate d6, Fuzzy. Uh, yeah, they well, don't mean yours the years. were on age, weren't they? Yeah, it's you same. rolled for your age. Oh, right. Okay, so shall I roll two more d6s? Yeah, two d6s. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there you go. You got an award. Uh, All right, and I got a so roll for what award it was. You win an award. Roll another d6. It a was a... an Emmy. An you Emmy. won an Emmy. So I think we can. I think we can change the name of that. It'll. <laughs> yes. It's, it's yeah. got a. We'll. We'll. It's we'll come up with something. It's a Yui. It's a space Emmy. <laughs> it's a Yui. Okay. Plus one rep then. Nice. Excellent. We can't call it a spacey. <laughs> <laughs> because the meaning of getting a spacey changed near the end of last year. So. God damn it, Kevin! <laughs> That's where we go on break. <laughs> uh, it is probably a good place for us to take a break, actually. So why don't we go ahead and take a take a quick break, guys? We'll be back in just a few minutes. Hang tight for more warped. 
Season 2, episode number 28, as Fuzzy creates a new character. We'll be back in just a little bit. Hang tight. <laughs> 